Right guys, I'm detoxing the COVID spike protein. Just detoxing right now. Coming from my nose, from wherever it is up here, Omicron. It's 11 months later. I found out a way to detox it every single morning. A little bit each day, okay? It's not sweat, it's uh, this here is not sweat. It's like slime, it's like thick sweat. Mm, every morning. Fuck. Mm. I'll explain to you how you do this. It took me all year to figure it out. It's like thick sweat that comes out every morning, a little bit more every morning. When I first started doing it, it the sweat was thicker. And then over time, it's becoming thinner. But I don't know if you can see the shadow but you can see all the thick sweat here sweat it through two two clothes okay there's uh i'm going to explain to you what i take and, and how i do this and you do it every day over a long period of time to improve when I had COVID, I felt all this thick, warm, slimy stuff under my body, uh, but it wouldn't come out. And now, it's all coming out because I'm taking this, which I'm going to explain in the next video. Okay, I'm taking these supplements and I'm doing this little routine. And that uh, coming out, and over time, I'm feeling better the more of this stuff comes out, you feel more like yourself. But it takes months, even years, to take this viral persistence out of you. Okay, so. I think a lot of people are walking around in society and public and they don't even know they've got the, the viral persistence so they've got less energy than usual and they feel older and their mood and stuff but I'm well aware because I had a lot of COVID but uh, yeah, really heavy thick sweat get a little bit out of you every single morning you, you recover slowly over time and feel more and more like your old self, okay? So in the next video, the next clip bit here I'm just going to explain the ingredients I take and the little routine, the little system I do, it's helped me the most in healing from this, okay? I'm at work right now, I come to the toilet because I'm sweating all this shit out, but hey, I've got to take this on because it took me all year to learn. Stop researching Google and the science, this works. I feel it in my gut, I feel it in my heart, and I know it's working, so take this and do this. Today's video is a long COVID video, the best way to recover and detoxify the spike proteins, okay? So I've had long COVID since February, it's now in November, and each month I've gotten a little bit better, but I've tried a lot of things, I've found out a lot of things that don't work, and i found out the things that do work, and I've created a, a habit and a system that will make you heal the quickest if you do these, okay? So I'll let you know the main ingredients, okay? The main things you need. And forget about the science and going on Google for answers, because you're not going to get real life answers i get this from my heart from my gut i just know this works it's worked from experience i feel it i see it okay trust me try it okay so um tolovid okay tolovid t-o-l-l-o-v-i-d tolovid okay you need this because long covid i believe okay it's the virus is still inside you okay so the virus comes in in a heavy load and a lot of the spike proteins stick to your cells, it sticks to your organs, and it sticks to, especially the cells in your body, okay, and your your uh, blood vessels and your cells and everything, okay. The virus, the spike protein, sticks there, and it and it stays there forever unless you can get rid of it, okay. Unless you can kill this, get the spike protein off your cells. If you don't get the spike protein off your cells, it will continue to replicate, okay. It will continue to over time. It will keep. Um, multiplying like a bug okay and it might go away for a little while you think it does but it comes back and it grows more okay so you need to get rid of that you need to detoxify the virus it's got to stay there forever unless you get rid of it so tolovid tolovid is like ivermectin but it's a lot stronger cromwell root and something called lecithin is inside it and what it does is it, it opens your cells up so that the bad things can pass out and the good things, it just opens the cells up so that the spike proteins can fall off into your bloodstream and into your into your body, okay? And uh, 
and, and this helps sweat it out, it helps detoxify it. If you don't take Tolibate, if you don't take Ivermectin, if you don't take the lecithin and all the, the, the inhibitors, it will stay on your cells forever and it will be long COVID, okay? It will start causing inflammation and beating you down, okay? But if you can take Tolibate every morning, I only took two capsules every morning because it's £100 or something for 60 capsules and I can't afford to take what it recommends. So I would only take two in the morning because I felt my body worked well in the morning, you know. I would take two in the morning. Okay, I would take Veditionals 9. Veditionals 9, okay. I'll leave all the names in the in the description. Okay, so Tolivid, Veditionals 9. I would take Aspirin because I hear about the blood clots and I hear about the thick blood. So I would take Aspirin to thin my blood. I would take Veditionals 9, Tolivid. And uh, I would take this every morning. And I would also... Uh, I would take something called Preotonics, which was a, it's a pre and probiotics, Preotonics, I'll leave a note there as well, you can order that, okay, and uh, that would that would also help remove toxins and stuff from your, your body, okay, uh, and one more thing, it's a good, a good thing is I would, I would, in the morning I would do a, a little workout, whatever I could do, I would improve over the months, but I would do a workout, I would have lots of clothes on to keep, to keep warm, and I would drink green tea, I would put two or three tea bags in, big green tea, really hot, drink it. And I would drink like decaf coffee as well. Maybe even a little bit of caffeine from like an energy drink or, okay. Okay, and just the caffeine is a diuretic so it helps you sweat. So not too much caffeine though, mainly hot drinks like green tea and decaf, okay. So I'll take two big cups of that, I'll be all closed up, do a little workout or something. I'll take the Tolivid, which is more really important because it gets the cells to release all the bad, the, the spike protein. And uh, Veditionals 9 as well. And what I'll do is I'll do work or I'll do a workout or something for a couple of hours or an hour and I'll just keep busy. And then after I stopped, my whole body would just detox, would just sweat right out. I'd have thick, slimy sweat on my t-shirt, not normal sweat, thick stuff. And that was the spike protein. It's either dead or still alive, but it's spike protein. I bet if I put my t-shirt to a lab and got tested, it would be the COVID spike protein, okay? So, when you first start doing this routine, I'm, I'm telling you, and taking all this stuff, you will get thick, slimy sweat. And the more you do this and the more you detoxify, the sweat will become thinner, but it'll still be thick. You know it's not normal sweat. It's not water. It's sludgy stuff, okay? But as the months go on, your sweat will continue to come out, detoxify, but it won't be as heavy and thick. It'll just be like a moderate kind of sweat but that is the spike protein okay as you can see in this video i'm going to show you it's my normal routine at work every morning i would be sweating through two t-shirts of this stuff okay and i'll keep taking this stuff and i'm going to keep taking it because i'm i'm not 100 percent healed yet you know I'm, I'm not uh where i was before covid there's always that spike protein hiding in places you don't even know inside organs and it's it's there it's hiding it's hidden away the omicron is what i got so it's still up my nose I still blow it out my nose, I still spit it out after I take all this stuff in the morning, okay? So take this every morning, it'll set you up for a good day, you'll feel a bit better after it. you got to start sweating this stuff out little by little, bit by bit, okay? Really important video, forget the science, forget Google, this is coming from experience, I've been trying to figure this out and get my life back all, all year. And I know, I just know it's right, so try it for yourself. Let me know in the comments how you're recovering, if this is working for you. Tolivid plus Veditionals, warm drinks, get a sweat on in the morning. And you can take aspirin or you can take um, like famotidine. You can take uh, antihistamines and stuff as well. Uh, you can have an antihistamine diet. There's lots of other stuff, like zinc, vitamin D. But the main thing is Tolivid, Veditionals, warm drinks, green tea, warm clothes, get a sweat on every morning. Sweat that spike protein out, okay? It's coming from the heart. I know this from experience. Time will tell that this is this will come out. With time, we'll all be sweating this shit out. But right now, you need to get it out, you know? Don't let it do any more damage, okay? I'm out. exercise this morning this is just a non-exercise morning and this is the, the spike protein being sweated out of my cells Fuck. Get the 
if I exercised it would have been a lot more because my body would have started <coughs> pushing out more sweat and toxins. The toxins come out with the sweat. But this is a normal day. I'm taking the supplements and no no um, exercise. I took a rest day from the gym today. I'm still sweating that thick shit out. I feel good now, I feel a bit better than I did this morning when I woke up. Because uh, overnight, I think the spike protein starts to like stick more to your cells or multiply or something. It does something overnight, that's why we all wake up feeling like shit. But you gotta sweat this shit out. Get it out from your nose, up here, whatever it's. I don't know what it is, it's all over the place, but you gotta sweat it out, you gotta get out of you. You know what I mean? Get rid of all this shit.